everybody, this is Ginger and Ginger's Rant Show, and I hope this behaved itself. I uh, was not able to do it Monday because there were a lot of storm issues. Apparently, California was dealing a lot of technical issues, because uh, that's where Menta slash Facebook is located there in California. And I guess the Santa Ana winds were really ripping through the middle part of California. Um, anyway, I hope all is well, um, I was going to report on Monday that the Kansas City Chiefs won, which they did. Hey, Nancy! It was a good game on the Can Kansas City Chiefs. Um, people really need to learn sportsmanship, good sportsmanship, and on any game, it's all about the numbers. Same as... You know, elections. It's all about the numbers. And if numbers don't favor you, well, if you want to, go over try again or just make it a one time bucket list, you know. Um, so, anyway, uh, congratulations to Kansas City Chief. Chief. I watched their um, uh, parade uh, today. And they were having a blast, even though they were had 15 degrees and a little bit of a wind chill there. Uh, everybody was bundled up, um, and at least the weather was good. It wasn't snowing or anything. At least the ice was gone. Uh, they were going to do the um, parade yesterday. But in the middle of the ice storm hit over the weekend, not everything was thought out. And so, uh, the city council says, you know what, we could hold off one more day for the ice to melt off and go away. And so it's safer for everybody, which was a smart move on their part. And they asked the <coughs> National Guard to... Uh, help with the parade, which they did, because a lot of them do community service. Uh, so, as you know, the National Guard is pretty much a part-time soldiers, and so they've been doing this as a community service community and help, uh, you know, uh, the team members through the parade and everything. It was very well done, and, uh, and as it took, <laughs> some of the players really had a hard time to acclimate again because they were back in um, Arizona. It was really warm in Arizona. Well, somewhat warm in Arizona. And they, um, when they came back here, back to Missouri, it was freezing cold. Uh, but they had a lot of fun. Now, since it's hump day, and you saw my thing, it says, so much going on and so much to do, which is true. Um, it just came out in the news earlier today, um, California Senator Diane Feinstein, who, uh, she represents San Francisco and part of the county that surrounds San Francisco area, Bay Area. Uh, she's not going to run for any re-election next year. She says it's about time that I hand the baton to a younger person who could carry on. And, um, hey, I'm all for her doing what she wants to do. And, uh, she says, I want to enjoy my family. And that's what she's going to do. So, thank you for your service, Senator Feinstein. And... You served California well, you represented it well. Um, that's what public service is. You serve others, and that's what she did. Um, so anyway, again, thank you, Senator Feinstein. Uh, there's now other candidates that are gonna go for her seat. So we'll see how that goes. For next year because next year 2024 is a year where a majority of the senators run for re-election majority of them 
Um, you know, I wish Congress was more in a same election time frame as the president, every four years. No, cut out the midterm thing, they need to get rid of that. Because people get so burned out, okay, uh, for re-election and things like that. They should be done every four years for both the Senate and the House. They say, well, that's in the Constitution and everything else. Well, they can amend the Constitution. They can update it to the current situation. I mean, they could do that. So why are they so afraid to change it or afraid, yeah, afraid to change it? Because if they do it every four years, serve two terms, and put term limits on both the House and the Senate, then it would be better. It'd be on the same platform as the President. In other words, you do get the election done all in one fell swoop. And that way people won't be burned out. The American people, because they get burned out by this. You know, you just got no having a presidential election. Then two years later, you got the midterm. And then you turn around after midterms and you have the presidential election again. It's really kind of dumb. really is. Um, and I like to see term limits both on Congress and the Senate. And some things change, too, as far as operations go in Congress and the Senate. In other words, allow no lobbyists, corporate lobbyists, company lobbyists in there. The only lobbyists allowed in there is people like you and me, the constituents. And yes, I said this before. But it needs to be pushed. It really does. Um, and as always in politics, um, the radical group of GOP idiots, as I call them, and they are idiots because they don't bother to do their homework, ever. Um, They're basically making an ass of themselves. And uh, they act like they don't want to work. Well, if they don't want to work, then they should not be in Congress, period, whatsoever. And I understand Congressman Santos is now, he's in big trouble, federal wise. He's going to be charged for fraud. And uh, I hope Con I hope Congress boot gives him the boot, and also give a few others the boot, such as Gates, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, uh, Bolbert, and um, Jordan and McCarthy. They should be all given the boot if they're not going to do their jobs properly. Get people in there that do public service and make things better for everybody. Because things come in full circle. You know? Uh, and if people don't like it, well, that's just too bad. Um, um, I get the impression from people like from Green and Bulber, Jordan and you don't hear so much from Ghostar, but Jordan and McCarthy, they don't like the facts and the truth being out there. I don't know what they're afraid of. I really don't. Unless they're taking illegal bribes. Now, I thought during election, time elections and everything else, uh, they are not supposed to accept foreign transactions. Hey, Dorothy! Hi! How are things in your neck of the woods? Um, so, well, you know what? They could lose the power. That time they lost it. They lost it pretty much anyway. Uh, what they're doing those guys, the radical guys, they're interfering with their fellow GOP jobs. They're interfering with their jobs, which is a no-no. 
and they should be given the boot. They should be told, nope, we're going to do what we need to do, and we need to make things better for everybody. You're not going to have the power. And McCarthy is going to be told he's not going to have the power. And if, when you watch the um, State of the Union address, I love, <laughs> I love President Biden. He owned them. He put them in their place, which I find that really funny. And um, you're welcome, Dorothy. Um, he put them in their place. And he says, you're not acting like professional Congress people at all. You're acting like a bunch of little kids. And they are. And during this, I don't know which community meeting that I watched, um, the Midas Touch was discussing that. Green was put in her place by AOC and a couple of other Republican people that don't, well, they don't like Green, uh, put her in her place because of these facts. And the Twitter person was trying to explain to her, she said, well, this one person got uh, kicked off and everything else and for this and that and the other. And uh, she didn't say who it was, but we all know who it was. It was Green that got kicked off of Twitter because she was pushing disinformation and uh, endangering people. And the Twitter guy, the Twitter executive goes, the reason was that just that, you just, you're not supposed to endanger people. And he told her that right to her face. And she kept interrupting him and kept, you know, he was trying to answer the question. She kept interrupting him. Finally, the chairman, who happened to be a Republican, put his foot down and told her, you need to stop, Green. You need to knock it off and stop. And she wouldn't do it. Well, <clears throat> the chairman called a recess. And when we came back in, she was there like two seconds. And she wanted to continue the, the tirade. And the, con the chairman says, no, it's not going to happen. You're not going to waste any more time. We've got other members here that want to talk to us. And he told her, if you don't cooperate, you can leave. Frankly, they should kick her off the meeting, committee meeting. I think the, I'm not sure what the rules are actually are in committee meeting or committee set up procedures. Apparently, Green doesn't know all the procedures and everything there in the committee. She didn't learn to, she didn't study it study the rules or anything, what you can and cannot do. And uh, I find that kind of funny. Um, he told her, he said, you cannot go over your three minute time. And anyway, AOC asked him pointed questions and everything else, and she yielded back. She didn't have any more questions, so she yielded back her time back to the chairman. That's what she did. She knows how things run. And uh, her, Bulbert, Jordan, they got a lot to learn. If they learn at all. Um, I don't know if any of you ladies know that this early this morning, uh, you remember the actress Raquel Welch. Uh, she died early this morning, age 82. They didn't say what her cause was, but I would, would imagine pretty much old age. Um, something came up with her. Um, but I remember her in one movie, in years BC, movie, the first movie when it, when it first came out. I remember seeing it. Yeah, uh, 
And then she was on the Kill Navy, and also she was on, um, oh, what's the name of? Oh, she was on the Fantastic Voyage, the first movie. The first movie, the Fantastic Voyage, she was on that. Um, she did very well with it. Um, she's going to be missed, even though she's been retired a number of years from acting. I don't know when she retired from it, but, um, so, oh, T tagged me, huh? Okay, I'll check that out. Uh, right now I'm on my opera browser for it to work properly. Um, I tried getting it to work on Fox, and Fox wasn't working very well. Very Fox. Oh, and as of yesterday, um, uh, Microsoft has retired Internet Explorer. They're not no longer going to use it. They completely retired it because they had a lot of problems with it, and uh, and the problem was that it was hackable, and they tried to get do corrections and everything else to prevent that, and it wasn't that wasn't working. So anyway, they retired it, and uh, uh, Microsoft Edge is working much better now that they removed it working so much better so anyway oh and another thing on top again back to politics um Nikki Haley announced today that she's going to run for president of the United States and I go you don't have the temperament for it you won't be able to handle it I'm not saying just because you're a woman. I'm saying because of the experience. And, um, I watched a video clip of what St Stephen Colbert said. Uh, he's originally from South Carolina. Uh, she said he, she's kind of contradicting herself. And she is somewhat say racist a number of things and um if you ever saw her ad or anything it it kind of conflicts i don't think she does what the word means he doesn't he says it's like go ahead but you're not going to be present <laughs> so um now, the big question is, it's still way early, it probably won't happen until November or January of 2020, uh, January 2024, when the elections start, or the run for president start, the campaigning starts. Uh, I would have to look up the time frame for that when it officially starts. Um, I don't know if they're going to start in the summer or whatever. Um, hey, Teresa! Hold on, come on, star. Sorry, Dorothy, I didn't mean to speak Spanish here. Good to see you, Teresa. There we go. Um, so anyway, uh, I, oh, another thing I noticed last night, uh, poor Gemma, <laughs> she was having the same problem I was having on Monday, um, technical issues, trying to do the, do the Blue Dot family meeting last night, uh, he kept cutting out until finally the third time around, he was able to get it started again. Uh, on my end, I kept losing him, and so I thought, well, you know, let's hope the weather gets better in Texas for this. Uh, part of the country's going to get hit by snow and ice again. Um, we did get a little bit of snow yesterday morning, 
uh, here. Um, but it melted off pretty fast. It did freeze. Uh, right now it's up to 43 degrees. And I see we got a weather warning. Oh, expect rain. Supposed to get some rain. Okay. Um. Other than that, you know, uh, so anyway, is there anything else you guys like to talk about or want me to talk about? I want your input. Any suggestions you want to make to my show and everything? I'm trying... Uh, I will post this on my YouTube channel, by the way, this video. So I'll go on YouTube. I can't... <coughs> <coughs> yeah. <coughs> well, n no offense, Teresa. Ch Chicago is known as the Windy City. <laughs> um... I've never been to Chicago. I've been to Minneapolis, St. Paul for a one hour plane layover. Um, I, you know, uh, yeah, a lot of uh, wild weather is going on. But as always, we still have a lot of work to do both personally and yeah, it was gusty here a little, well, Monday night and Tuesday morning. It was pretty gusty. Um, California got hit by the Santa Ana winds yesterday. Um, so anyway, I wonder what this is going on. Okay, I'm just checking what my channel is doing. You know how Menta is. They're always messing with the algorithms. And they need to stop messing with the algorithms. So, anyway. Uh, again, like I was saying with YouTube. Get back to that subject. YouTube, I can't go live on YouTube because I don't have enough subscribers. So I need subscribers. So I need you to share. And um, if people don't like what I talk about or anything else, they have to accept me for who I am. Um, and I got, I received one thing that was really very, very critical, and I go, well, I just do the best I can. Thank you, Nancy. I love you. His lawyers, uh, fine, gather from 45 lawyers, uh, they got themselves in deep doo-doo. They're in trouble. Uh, they broke a number of laws, uh, felony laws and everything else. And I don't know what he has on those lawyers, okay? They were smart, and they want to save their careers and save their law license. They need to quit. Get out from under Trump and say, adios. Um, I know one lawyer is in trouble. I know one lawyer has lost her license to practice because of what she pulled, especially on, um, she's under investigation for the, uh, lying to the FBI, uh, regarding the, uh, national security documents. So, uh, I noticed the, the media has dropped that on the, the frenzy on the media documents uh, regarding President Biden. They said there's no evidence of any wrongdoing. And they're still investigating how those got there. 
And a lot of people are thinking, well, I kind of wonder if Trump didn't have somebody plant them there. Because um, that's my thought. Because how do they get there? How do they get in his garage? How do they get in, in the office? Because off, when he left, when Pre President Obama's uh, uh, term ended, of course, along with then Vice President Biden's term ended, his former office was all cleared out, especially in the, the office he was used for the cancer moonshot. Um, so everything was cleared out. Well, how did those folders get into that office? What, how and why were they missed? Because they knew when they left everything, everything was cleared, everything was cleared out. So, how did those folders get there? And how did those folders get into President Biden's garage? Because President Biden's garage is at uh, home. Uh, he said it's a highly secure garage. He has a Corvette in there. Um, of course, the house is being watched all the time by the Secret Service and everything, and the Secret Service is watching the beach house. Um, and I'm sure he's having somebody, uh, an employee or somebody in Secret Service to turn on his car once in a while just to keep things going, not let everything stick long term. In other words, open the garage door, start the car, and let it run and warm up, get everything going, and then back it in, and then shut it down, and close the door, and lock everything. Um, so, I don't know what's going on there. Now, the other thing we have to discuss real quick, too, that just, just popped up in my mind, is the surveillance balloon. Of course, you know, a couple of weeks ago, or a little over a week ago, the Chinese balloon was shot down outside of South Carolina, near Myrtle Beach. Um, it did have surveillance antenna. They were designed to beam things up to the Chinese satellite and then go back to Beijing. Um, they finally originated where the balloon came from. It came from Hanian Island, which is just outside of, uh, offshore of China, one of the Chinese islands. That's where the balloon came from. And of course, it did a different path. Uh, and there was one other balloon that went across to South America up that way. Uh, I don't know about that one. What happened to that one? There was nothing further said about it unless it was went so way off course that nobody could track it. Um, because when you get past, you get way south of Texas, 15, 30 miles out to sea, toward the Atlantic and everything else. There's no radar tracking posts or anything on those for those balloons. But NORAD, they changed their filters, their radar filters, so they could track everything. And filters also are designed to track balloons. That's how they found the one up in Alaska floating across. And, um, Canada picked up on that too. And so they asked President Trudeau, called President Biden, and asked him, can you send an F-22 to shoot down that balloon? It looks like the same setup as the one that came across your country, you know, that you shot down. And President Biden said, sure, I'll have a F-22 set up. And they shot down over at Lake Huron. Uh, it had the same setup as the Chinese one, or the first balloon. 
Now, the one over in Alaska, they're still getting information on that one. That one was shut down near Pseudo Bay, or not Pseudo Bay. Oh, what's the name of it? Maybe it's still off the Alaska coast. Um, so, uh, we'll see on that one, but they will keep the American people informed except for stuff that's highly like, classified that they picked up that they want to keep quiet for a while, which is understandable. Uh, but China, you need to stop doing that if you want to keep your balloons, okay? You got your satellites. Okay, well, it's 30 minutes after the hour. Uh, I'm going to go grab myself some lunch. Uh, I will see you on Friday. And, um, yes, I saw, I remember when Red Dawn came out, Teresa. Okay, okay, Dorothy. Yeah, I remember seeing the movie Red Dawn, Teresa. It is scary. But the thing is, we know our territory better than they do. <laughs> so, okay, I will see you guys later on Friday. Be sure to insist, persist, and push back. And I welcome any or all kinds of suggestions how to improve things. And I will see you guys later. And enjoy your evening. Okay, I'll talk to you later. And I'll post this on YouTube too. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye.